Hello, I'm Savia and uh, on, in this lecture, I'm going to teach you about linear equations. Linear equations are those equations in which power of a variable is 1. Uh, the power of the variable will not be more than 1, it will be only 1, okay? The equations in which any variable has power 1 are linear equations. Uh, here are the few examples of linear equations like 2x plus 5 equals to 10. Here x is a variable and the power of the variable is 1. We are also going to discuss few more examples like the second in the second example x plus 6 is equals to 0. In this example the power of the variable x is 1. That's why this is also a linear equation. In the third example, 9 plus 5y equals to 6. Power of the variable y is 1. So that's why this is also known as linear equation. As we have already discussed what are linear equations, now we are going to solve few problems of linear equation. These problem solving will help you to understand the concept of linear equations in a more better way. We are going to solve here a few little and simple examples. Later I will solve few complex examples as well. First example is solve for the value of x. This is a simple little linear equation that is x plus 5 equals to 11. x is equals to, I am taking this 5 from this right hand side to the left, left hand side to the right hand side. 11 minus 5, x is equals to 6. So this, is, this was a simple equation in which we were about to find the value of x and now the value of x is equals to 6. Now, I also have a little equation that is 5x is equals to 25. x is equals to 5 is getting multiplied here and in the next step, 5 will be divided on the right hand side. x is equals to 25 over 5. When we will cancel it out, as you know that 5 1s are 5 and 5 5s are 25. So, the answer of the x will be 5. Okay, here we are going to solve another example of linear equation which is 6 into x plus 5 equals to 4 into 2 plus 3x. As you can see, here are the brackets and you first have to solve the brackets. So in the solution, I am going to multiply 6 with the values in the bracket. So here it will come 6x plus 6 fives are 30. And on the other right hand side, we are solving the brackets. 4 twos are 8 plus, plus will be, sign will be as it is. 4 threes are 12, 12x. And now in the next step, I'm going to collect the x values, the values which have variable at one side and the values without variable on the other side. So 6x and 12x are the values in this whole equation which have variable on the but 8 and 30 are the values which are constants. In the, both these values don't have any variable. So 6x minus 12x is equals to 6x but the greater term sign is negative. Also, on the right hand side, 8 minus 30 is equals to 22, but the greater term sign is negative, so we are placing negative on the both sides, minus sign. Both of these minus signs will be cancelled out, will be cancelled out, and minus 6x is equals to minus 22. These signs will be cancelled out, and the value of x will be 22 over 6. And when you divide these values, you will get x is equals to 11 over 3. Okay, I hope you understand this example because it's so simple and uh, 
or and uh, it's it's not uh, having any other variable variable we are just working with a linear equations having only one variable now uh, for your convenience and for your for making your concepts more clear i'm going to solve an other example that will help you a lot to understand the concept of linear equations we are having an other example which is y over 6 minus 1 over 2 equals to 5 over 2. In this example, you can see that we are having fractions. So, fraction solving is not a big problem. You can find the tutorials of fraction solving uh, on our channel. And you can easily uh, see all the concepts related to fractions uh, on our channel and uh, you can... Um, use those concepts to make the fractions more strong so i'm going to solve this equation 5 by 6 is equals to 5 over 2 i am taking this minus 1 by 2 to the right hand side so this negative sign will be converted into positive sign y over 6 is equals to 5 by 2 plus 1 by 2 y over 6 is equals to here we are going to take the lcm and after taking the lcm the value is 2 and 5 plus 1 will be the numerator and it becomes 6. 6 over 2 and this 6 is dividing here. Y divided by 6. So when you will take this 6 to the other side, it will be multiplied with this fraction. So here I am going to multiply this 6 with this fraction and the answer will be and the final value after the multiplication will be 36 over 2. So the answer of y is 18. I, I have solved few examples from simple to uh, little complex examples that, that will help you and uh, if you have any query you can ask me you can comment below and i hope you like my video thanks for watching